Morning, says Dr. Ben. All right. Um, first question is from MK. Uh, hello again, MK. Um, let's see. The question's a long one. Let me summarize. Um, so, da -da 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 -da. Uh, the FDA came out with another list of hand sanitizers that contain a bit of methanol. Um, usually it's an ethanol methanol blend, and usually the methanol is supposedly there because um because <laughs> uh, so that people won't drink it yeah um and methanol is uh as the question says indeed potentially toxic in quantities as little as i know wikipedia says 10 mils i found another source that had it at like 12 mils for the average size person i think it depends what um what your average size person is but that's that's in the ballpark i think yeah okay so, question is, if you're using a hand sanitizer, um, how much uh, methanol are you going to absorb through the skin? Is it going to be a toxic level? Is it going to be something bad or good? And so I looked at MSDSs or SDSs, whatever we call them now, um, which are like these uh, safety data sheets. And I looked for, so all of them list methanol as a risk by ingestion like that's the number one risk that's what uh, kills you with the smallest amount inhalation is another serious risk if you inhale a whole bunch of it but you gotta inhale a lot um like think working over a vat of ethanol for a while without any respiratory protection something like that uh and they also do list um absorption through skin so yeah it's it's right on there but they don't ever get give a um they call an LD50, which is the amount, the lethal dose to kill 50% of the experimental animals that they used for the test where they killed them with methanol. Um, yeah, through skin absorption. So it may be that they couldn't do the test, or it may be that the test was impractical, or it may be that their, yeah, that the number was, I don't know, it was difficult, something like that. I'm not sure. But I did look up an older paper, and um, I was not able to find anything on methanol specifically, but I did find stuff on ethanol, which I think is going to be um, absorbed at about the same rate. Okay, and this old paper is called Safety Evaluation of Topical Applications of Ethanol on the Skin and Inside the Oral Cavity by uh, Dirk Lackenmeyer. Yeah, all right. And scroll down to the little yellow highlighted bit. There we are. Yeah. Okay. So um, what it says in here is that they did this experiment where they gave people wipes. And they soaked each wipe with four milliliters of either straight up ethanol or, you know, different concentrations, a bit less ethanol. And then had these people wash them. And so they had to use these for... Um, I think it was like a minute each. Yeah, well, no, four mils were applied 20 times. So 20 times four mils, ridiculous, for 30 seconds with a one minute break in between applications. So that's a lot of hand washing. That's like more hand washing than you would ever want to hand wash. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, let's see, four times 20, so that's 80 milliliters applied 80 milliliters is a good size amount that's way more than you would ever use of hand sanitizer under any normal circumstance in like a day i think <laughs> um uh, anyway um uh da, 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 and what they found was that the proportion of ethanol that was absorbed was between one and two percent of that and so um, yeah, 0 0.8 mils to uh, uh, 1.6 mils, I guess. Yeah, 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 that'd be about right. Um, yeah, and so it was very small. And so the answer is to actually get, you, you would probably give yourself uh, um, uh, toxicity by inhalation before you would give yourself toxicity by absorption through the skin. And you would notice that because your nose would be burning and you would not want to put any more hand sanitizer on or you'd want to use soap instead. So, um, yeah, hand sanitizer is good. There are places like if you were, um, you know, going on the subway or something like that in the town that had one or in the underground, then, yeah, having a hand sanitizer with you is good because you're not going to be able to find a sink and soap 
any anywhere that I know of on the London Underground. Yeah. No, there's those weird, yeah, there's those weird uh, toilets where you have to pay coins to go in through a turnstile sometimes, but uh, usually not. Um, so, yeah, I think that's all right, but you are right to point out that methanol is not particularly good for you. Um, and uh, that, uh, yeah, don't, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it on the hand sanitizer. Um, soap works just as well, maybe better. Actually, I think it does work better. And uh, it avoids some of those uh, consequences. Anyway, washing hands obsessively is good, but mostly it's wearing a mask and staying away from people, I think. That seems to be the uh, main useful advice to give right now. So, very good question. Thanks very much. This is Ask Dr.